Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And today is a very exciting day because not only are we going to be carrying on the Starry Skies pack, working with Usagi, her mate King, and their many, many adorable puppies, but it is time for the newest Wolf Quest update. We are on Wolf Quest 2.7.3, and that means there are some new creatures out there for us to find. So our curious, curious Usagi, who is kind of looking at all of her pups uh, somewhat perplexed because she has so many of them and where on earth should she put all of them? So let's just pick up little Kitsu and try to bring Kitsu back down. Oh, good job, Navi. So Navi stays by the den, wonderful. We'll collect up our curious little ones and try to get them to stay somewhat close to safety. But our curious Usagi is going to get ready to go and find the moose. The moose is the newest update that we have here in Wolf Quest 2.7.3. So it's our new creature. All right, Navi, you seem exceptionally curious. So we're gonna put you back <laughs> and we are gonna go and look for the moose you guys so this is gonna be very fun there's a new scent on the wind for Usagi to try to go find Navi stay here it seems like Navi is definitely one of our, our like really playful curious ones Karma also seems pl pretty playful but did you guys see how Harmony actually stood and waited for King to come and feed them so Harmony is the only one with a full belly right now all right let's go ahead and give him a good little howl that's a quick way to raise your pack affinity in case you're having trouble chasing down your puppies and completing the challenge to teach them to stay near the den. You want to see the blue line or the blue graph. Um, what would you call it? I guess the blue bar all the way in the top left corner. You want to see that be completed all the way through or else your puppies are likely to wander off on you. So I'm going to drag them over to the den. And then as soon as we've completed that and fed them up a little bit, King's coming back to feed them. Thank you, King. Then we're gonna go and look along the riverside for the new moose. So there's a few new things that have been added into the game. We should have uh, the moose, for instance, which is kind of huge. Oh my gosh, moose are gigantic. They're bigger than me. I'm five feet five, and like your average moose is gonna be five feet to the shoulder. Not even counting the head. Not even counting those big old horns. King, we still have hungry babies. <laughs> Shouldn't we feed some of them? Okay, let me give them a little howl so that everybody. There you go, mission complete. Now the pups know to stay safe. Let's go get some food. King has fed half the babies, so we'll feed half the babies. And we'll finish this carcass that's really close to the den so that hopefully we don't attract any predators, uh, like any of the coyotes to get too near us. And today we're mostly going to be, oh, Yes, our pups are safe inside the den until we return. Wonderful. Today we are mostly going to be working on um, looking for the moose and just kind of poking at some of the new features in the game. Oh man, already a coyote. <laughs> and we may not focus as much as usual on the challenges, the special challenges that we do in Wolf Quest. Get out of here, coyote. Get out of here. Though I will roll just because we haven't done this yet. All right, we've got to get rid of this coyote or else he's... What do you mean I can't get rid of him? King, why is this coyote immortal? No, this is bad. This is bad. Get him. Get him, King. All right, hopefully that worked. No, look, he's going to circle back around for my pups. Oh my gosh, coyote. Oh my gosh, no, get away. Okay, I've got to go feed the babies because they're getting really hungry. But I'll have to keep an eye out for that coyote then. So maybe I have to wait till he challenges my den before I can start attacking him. Preemptively attacking him doesn't seem to work right now. Good job, puppies. You guys all stayed where you needed to be. All right, Karma, we'll go ahead and feed you. Harmony really does seem to be uh, very obedient, and I think she's going to be a little bit bigger than the rest, so it looks like she probably takes after King's size. It's really fun to keep track of him that way. I knew you were coming back to cause trouble. Look at him. Look at him. He's just going to act like he's going to act like we, we didn't already give him a couple good nips in the rump. All right, well, oh no, why is he immortal, you guys? This isn't good. Oh, this is this is not good at all. Okay, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Our pups are safe until we return. Oh no! I hope the updates haven't haven't made things a little bit questionable with old save files, or else we'll be in big trouble. I don't even want to guess what kind of glitch we could say that would cause here. All right, so am I gonna have to chase off that coyote again? We have a lot of things to do. Hmm, you know what, hang on. Oh, he's coming back! <gasps> no! Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, I think I know what we need to do. So I will be right back. 
Okay, I hope that worked. I tried exiting the game and reloading, so we're gonna see if we're able to defend our pups that way. All right, so let's make sure they are all fed. That mysterious immortal coyote is right there again. Ah. Oh. All right, let's see if we can get him this time, you guys. If not, we may be in big trouble. <laughs> all right, so I see a coyote. He's threatening my pups. He's running for it. Can I give him a good bite now? Oh, thank goodness. All right, you guys. Now we're safe from the coyotes. I was really worried. I did not want to lose the Soggy's first litter just to some sort of glitch. And I rolled, and she rolled a five out of six. So if she rolled a six, she could have gotten sick from that coyote. But thankfully, he was just a very stubborn, persistent one. All right. So, King, let's come down and let's take care of our very curious little puppies. And we're going to feed the rest of them really quickly. Harmony has been very patient, it seems. And then once they are fully fed up, and once we have convinced them... Oh! Oh my gosh! Why? Raising babies is so- Kitsune! Kitsune! No! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, Usagi, fight it! Fight it! Get her! Get her! Did we chase it away? We did! Thank goodness! We chased that cougar away, and once again, I have to roll to see if Usagi just took, like, a major hit or not. Oh, thank goodness, it's a five again. So she did not end up getting, like, a death blow from that cougar, even though that's her fault, where we have to roll to see uh, every time she gets uh, attacked by a cougar, we have to roll to see if she ended up getting really, really terribly wounded. But it came for Kitsune, so I think, uh, or excuse me, Kitsu. So I think Kitsu probably ends up having uh, the same sort of attraction to predators that Usagi does, and it seems like Harmony is trying to follow her dad. I forgot how much fun it is just to build the story when the puppies are so little like this. Okay, you guys, stay here. That's right, stay here. Come on, guys. Oh, there's your dad. He's got a good old howl. I like that. And we're going to go down and we're going to eat and kind of restore our stamina. Oh, and I need to mark territory. No wonder. Territory has been marked. Oh, you guys, I forgot how hard it is to be a wolf parent sometimes. So let's go ahead and finish off this elk and then we need to mark territory and then we're gonna go hunt for the moose I'm sorry. It's taking so long, but when you've got babies back at the den Well, it does it does uh, end up distracting you for a little bit So we can keep our eyes peeled over here at least to see if there's anything new in the forest During the winter time we are now supposed to find arctic hares Which makes me pretty excited and there's supposed to be wintertime decorations, which makes me kind of curious It makes me almost want to like oh Oh, you know what we can do you guys what we can do is we can kind of switch between Usagi's litter and the things that she's doing with her puppies trying to keep her puppies alive and running around here and we may switch and say that we'll go up into the mountains with the air to spirits companion wolf line I do have a companion wolf in mind and if you guys aren't sure what the heck a companion wolf is make sure you check our wolf quest wiki or ask the amazing people in the comments because they will let you know uh, who the companion wolves are and I have picked out who I would like to be the heir from the companion wolf line and what we can do is we will take that air and we will send them to the creek level here in the winter and we'll explore it and just call it like oh we're we're exploring the area during uh the up high in the mountains and so then we can see what kind of special updates oh now there's a bear really i think usagi may be having second chance like second um opinions <laughs> second thoughts <laughs> about this particular den site all right at least she knows from her father how to lunge for that big old bear butt. So let me see if I can wiggle around this way. Oh, it's so much fun when we have puppies. I totally forgot how exciting this is. All right, there. So Osagi knows how to chase away a good bear. All right, get out of here, Kuma. All right, and let's come down, feed the puppies again. I'm so sorry, little ones. All right, Karma, Kitsu, I'm coming for you. All right, so we're gonna feed all of them. It's been a long time since we've actually used um, space names, so I wonder if we may end up bringing a little bit more of space back into the, the wolf pack in the future. All right, so let's go ahead and feed Karma up. And then let's go and I'm gonna get just a teensiest bit more food. Oh my gosh, and we'll pee a little bit. And then we'll go look for the moose. But I think that'll be fun. So expect us to jump between the wolf pups and we're going to be jumping over to um, the air. I know exactly who it is. And a lot of you guys probably know who I have picked from spirit surviving wolf pups to be the companion wolf. And the companion wolf can spend some time, this particular litter, developing uh, his or herself and maybe earning some extra ancestor blessings for us to use for this family. Because so far I haven't found a lot of rabbits. What is this? 
Really? Huh. The hunting music started up, but I don't see any elk nearby. Oh, but there's another bear already. What the heck? All right, hang in there, puppies. Is this bear... Does he look a little differently colored to you guys? Oh, maybe it's just because he's kind of enjoying the uh, the dusk sunset. Oh, really? What's that about, huh? Now he's standing up like, like he owns the place? No. I'm gonna give you a good bite. We are bear butt biters. We're from a bear butt biting family. There we go. Not even one hit. Nice! Usagi is really, really, really managing to make a statement taking care of her puppies like this. We'll give it a good howl so everybody knows to back off. Oh my gosh. Is she managing to get the affinity up? Darn, we're not getting affinity up this way, so I guess we'll have to pick our puppies up and put them down. Um, can I get any more pack affinity from... What about playing? Come on, guys. What do you say? Play with mom? There we go. That's getting a little bit of experience up. Is it getting our pack affinity up, though? No, not really. Hmm. All right. Well, oh, dang it. Really? <gasps> We're just being chased by bear after bear after bear. King is really good about showing up. All right. There we go. Oh, dang it. We got hit. And there we go. That's our third bear today. If I haven't defended our puppies enough, I don't know when we'll we'll be able to call it done. All right, so there. Now we're going to feed them one more time. And once they're all fed, we're headed off and we're going to go look for that moose because I really want to find the moose. Jeez, at this rate, we'll have to wait until Spirit's Air ends up running around in a winter wood. Apparently, there's some really great December updates in the, the winter time that will only be here for... Oh, hey, King. He's really excited about something. That will only be here for the month of December, um, which is almost over. So I guess they're like special holiday updates. But that makes me really excited if the Wolf Quest team feels like they could possibly work on little little holiday updates like that in the future. Think how fun that would be to be able to pop in and each one of your generations of wolves is slightly affected in different ways by what the season is with their story. Oh, that would be so fun. All right, so we're going to go look for a moose. I have no idea if we're going to find a moose or if we have just been under constant barrage of attack. All right, I'm going to give it a good howl. I wish I could get our pack affinity back up. I don't know why our puppies don't seem that impressed by the howling. I wonder if one of them is deaf. How would we play with a deaf wolf pup? Hmm. Hmm, that's a good question. I think you guys would uh, really enjoy that challenge. A lot of you guys want me to play with like blind wolf pups um, or just give the wolf pups challenges like that. So if you have an idea of how we would play with a deaf wolf pup, I actually have one in my mind who I could see fitting that. All right, so apparently you find the moose along the riverside. So we're gonna go hunting for moose. I don't spy any odd scents, so we're gonna keep moving. We have to keep an eye out since we do have babies still to take care of. We may have to do some fresh hunting already too, my goodness. Puppies are very demanding. I feel like Usagi and King are, are just kept on their toes right now, just trying to take care of their little ones. But along the riverbank at dusk or dawn is supposed to be a good time to find moose, I hear. So we'll search here. I imagine maybe they've like caught wind of some odd scents and they want to try to check it out. No moose so far. Hmm. We'll loop back to our babies. So I wonder... I mean, yeah, this is along the riverbank. Hmm. So we started kind of up here and we've run all the way down here. We might have to kind of poke around here a little bit. I don't want to wander too far away from our babies, though. That's bad news bears. <gasps> What's this? The footprints are more visible than ever before. Have there been humans in the area? That's not good. That's not good at all. What if they come for my babies? They better stay away. All right, so let's look around here just a bit more. We're getting very close to the Stranger Wolf territory. And because I'm leaving on my Christmas vacation with my beloved Chips, he asked me to go with him to see his family this year. In past years, I've actually stayed home and I have opted out of uh, visiting my family for Christmas because I've been working so hard to make videos for you guys, but Chips is convincing me there's more important things than that. But because I will be going with him on Christmas vacation, I won't be able to do... Oh. My. Gosh. Yeah, guys, look at the bull elk. How am I supposed to take you seriously, Rudolph? How am I supposed to take you seriously at all, huh? I'm not intimidated. I think you look hilarious. 
I think Usagi wants to get him. Oh gosh, our puppies. I think Usagi wants to get him. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. I kind of want to take down Rudolph. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so funny. Oh, we're not very strong though. And it takes forever to take down a bull elk. So we'll have to think about that. Maybe that will be the challenge that we will give spirits, um, spirits air. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I've neglected our puppies for so long. Get away, coyote. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna have to fight off the coyote while feeding our puppies. This is gonna be a little awkward. All right, feed one puppy, let the coyote have his moment. It, it always reminds me of like when there's the showdown in Western movies and, okay, come on coyote, come on, come on, come on. There we go. But it always reminds me when there's that showdown in Western movies where the two opponents face off across like a dusty plane with each other. That's what that moment when the coyote or the bear or the cougar kind of poses and they're like, I'm here for your, your puppies. That's what it reminds me of. All right, let's go ahead and feed Kitsu and let's feed Karma. I can't believe that there's Rudolph the red nose. <laughs> the, the red nose um, bull elk here. That's hilarious. I don't know. Oh, fooey. Okay. Stranger wolf. 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 Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my gosh. Today is a little exciting, to say the least. Can I really get him? No, look, he, he's, he's, he's hoofing it now. He's out of here. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we've got to crank up our, our P territory marking game. And we have got to take care of our puppies. So it's actually a lot harder to explore with the new updates and to go look at Rudolph. Can you believe that? than I thought it would be. But what we will be doing is we will definitely have spirits air then explore the winter forest and we'll say they're up high in the mountains and we may see if spirits air can take out Rudolph or maybe find the moose or maybe find some of the arctic hares or some of these special winter decorations that I have heard rumor of. So we'll be poking all of those things and maybe not with a pile of puppies behind us. <laughs> maybe good to do that with a single wolf with no obligations. And I will see you guys next time when we'll continue. I have to chase off another coyote and I have to roll twice now to see if she ended up getting sick from coyotes. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is enough to keep me busy for Usagi. So Usagi, poor Usagi wants to be curious and she wants to explore and okay, I'm going to roll again. Okay, thank goodness, no disease and no disease, thank goodness. Usagi, one in six chance that you could get very sick from those, so be careful. All right, who's hungry? Oh my gosh, everybody's hungry. All right, so we definitely need to work on taking care of these puppies. I think Usagi is a little exhausted because they're, they're very curious, hyper little ones. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're not getting a break. We're not getting a break in this. Can you guys believe this? This is not an easy litter. This is like the tastiest, the tastiest litter of them all. Karma for crying out loud, please. <laughs> Thank goodness we've, we've defended the pups. I, I, I was gonna say it's about time we've defended the pups, but this must be like the tastiest wolf pup litter we've ever had. So I'm going to, we're, we're missing one. Navi, 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 where's Navi? King, where's Navi? I'm missing a wolf pup. Where is Navi for crying out loud? No, not another. Not another coyote. Why? Oh my gosh. Navi, get back over by the den. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, took out that coyote, rolled. Oh, thank goodness she's not sick. But that, that, at this rate, it's only a matter of time. All right, you guys. So we have seen Rudolph. I need to get some food. And poor Usagi needs to, like, mark her territory. She is run ragged as a mother right now. So we won't be able to focus on... We won't be able to focus on being able to hunt down some of the other things just yet, but we will have somebody come on in and we will have Spirits Air look at all of the updates for us because at least they as a single wolf won't have an entire very curious pile of wolf pups to take care of. But I was letting you guys know about my vacation because I want to do the straw pulls pretty soon. And I think Usagi's litter would be like exceptionally curious wolf pups. So it would be really fun to do the straw pulls to see what trouble they get into for their mom and dad pretty much every day. So if we're not able to do it with this litter because of my travels, then don't worry. We will definitely do it with Usagi's next litter if you guys are still interested in following her story next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.